hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm gonna give you the complete tutorial on trojan bot which is the solana bot i'm gonna show you its best settings and how you can start using trojan bot for solana so make sure you watch the video carefully so that you don't miss any of the steps in this process now if you are not already aware of the trojan bot then i will put the link of it down in the description box so you can use that link and then you will be able to see this type of page in front of you so if you already have the telegram app in your pc then you will have to just click on the send message button and then it will ask you to open your telegram desktop application once done you will be landed on the trojan board the interface of which will look something like this now here you just have to press the start button once done it will create a wallet for us as you can see over here that it has created a wallet for me and it is showing me the balance that i currently have so as i have created this account just now so i currently don't have anything in my balance but you just have to fill your account with some of the balance so you just have to use any other exchanges or wallets and you just have to add some of the solana in your wallet now once you are on this page before making any purchases on this platform you just have to do some of the settings so for that you will have to click on the settings tab and then you will be able to see various types of settings that you can make on the trojan board now here first of all it will show you the transaction time so by default it will be set on fast but you can set it on turbo and custom fee so i would highly recommend you to set it on turbo because it will really help you to prevent your transaction from getting failed after that you will have to click on buy settings so once you are in the buy settings you will be able to see some of the presets like 0.5 solana 1 solana 3 solana 5 solana etc so if you are trading with the same amount over and over again on the platform then you can select the preset as per your need for example if you want to trade with 0.1 or 0.2 solana every single time then instead of choosing these you just have to select the preset that you want over here and it will save you a lot of time while doing the transaction next we have the option of buy slippage so i would recommend you to set the slippage at low you can keep it between 10 to 20 percent so it is selected as 50 percent so i will keep it as it is then you need to come back and now we are gonna do the sell settings so you will have to click on the sell button and similar to buy you will be able to see whether you want to sell 50 percent of your portfolio or 100 percent here you will be able to see the sell slippage option as well so in my recommendation you should set the slippage as high uh, it should be up to 30 percent so for the sake of this video i'm going to keep the slippage as 25 percent so as you can see over here that i have typed 25 percent and it has set it to 25 percent now you just have to come back and here you will be able to see this mav protection setting and the mav protection cell settings so if you want to change it then you can do so but if you enable this setting to send transactions privately and avoid getting front run and sandwiched so for this video i'm going to keep them as it is now we have the option of auto buy and auto sell so if you want to enable the auto buy option then you can turn it green in order to do this you will have to just click on it and then you will be landed over here where by default it will be off so if you click on it it will turn on then you will be able to see the auto sell settings so, so if you want to click on auto sell or if you want to sell it at any point of time then you can use this auto sell option and the bot will sell your cryptos automatically next we have the pnl values so it is basically your profit and loss so you will have to click on it in order to turn it green after that you just have to come back and now you will be able to see the chart previews so if you want to view your chart then you can click on this option 
afterwards you will be able to see the option of show and hide tokens so if you have some of the tokens that you want to show or hide then you can use this option next we have this wallets option so if i click on wallets it will show you all of your wallets the one wallet is on solana and the second one is my ethereum wallet if you have any other wallet then you can import that here as well if you have the solana wallet like if you have phantom wallet or any other wallet then you can import it over here with the help of the private keys now once all of these settings are done you just have to come back and now i'm going to show you how you are going to make the transaction or basically how you are going to purchase any of the tokens on the trojan board for that you will have to click on this buy button now it will ask you to enter a token symbol or the address that you want to buy so in order to get the tokens contract address you can use any of the websites whether it can be dex screener or coin market cap or coin geeko so for this video i'm going to use coin market cap now i am on coin market cap and i have selected the list as the solana ecosystem so among these coins let's say i want to find the contract address of doc with hat so i'll simply click on it and then it will show me its overview page here you will be able to see the contract address so you just have to copy this contract address from here and once it is copied you just have to come back to your telegram app then paste the address and press enter once done it will take the information as per the contract address that you have sent to it now it is showing me that the name of the token is dog with hat and it is its contract address this is the balance that i have and it is its current price liquidity pool market cap etc so over here we will start with these three options so if you select the swap option and enter the amount of solana that you want to spend in order to purchase the coin that you have selected then it will automatically place your order and you are going to get your token in your wallet now if you select the limit orders then what it will do is you will be able to set a certain price and whenever the coin hit that certain price your order will be placed and you are going to get your token at that price for that you just have to first check it to limit then here you will be able to see the presets of solana so you just have to select the amount of solana that you want to spend after that you can select the slippage but as i said before you just have to select the slippage at 15 percent so you can keep it as it is now here you will have to click on trigger price now you will have to enter the percentage in minus and whenever that token goes to that percentage your order will be placed for example i want to buy it whenever the coin gets to minus 10 percent so i will type minus 10 percent now it is showing me the trigger price so you just have to click on the expiry and by default it will be set on one day but if you want to do it in an hour or in minutes then you can use the same symbol accordingly for example if you want to do it in 60 minutes then you will have to type 60 and after that you will have to type m then it will automatically take the expiry as one hour which is 60 minutes if you want to increase the time in your expiry let's say you want to do it for 24 hours so you will have to type 24 hours and it will automatically take it to 24 hours now here you will be able to see the option of create order so if you click on create order then your order will be placed and as you can see that it has shown me that it is a limit order and it is placed successfully and the trigger price is this if i want to view my limit orders then you will have to click on the view limit order option and then it will show you your limit order which you can close if you want to or you just have to come back and now we are going to try some other options now the third option that we have is of dca so if i click on dca then i can do the dollar cost averaging on it so if you don't know what dollar cost average is so basically in dca you spend the same amount of money every single week every single month so you can do it here as well so first you will have to select the dca option then you need to select how much solana you want to spend after selecting it let's say i want to spend one solana then this slippage you don't need to do anything with it 
after that you will have to click on the intervals option so over here you will have to set the interval so if you click on interval then it will show you that the intervals can be made within seconds months hours and days so if you want to do dca every single week then you will have to type seven days so it will set the interval that you have given as an input now you will have to click on duration and it you can set your duration and you can set your duration in minutes hours days etc so let's say i again want to do it in seven days so i'll simply type seven days and it has taken the duration as well now if you want to add the minimum price and the maximum price then you can also do it for that you just have to click on minimum price then you just have to provide the entry in the percentage so you can do it minus you can do it in minus or in the plus percentage and it will take the input accordingly afterwards you need to press the create order button and then it will show you that your order is now successfully created again if you want to view your dca orders then you will have to click on view dca and it will show you all of the active orders that you have again if you want to cancel them then simply click on the cancel all option and it will cancel your position now if we come back to the start page then we have already seen the buy option similarly we are going to view the sell option so if you click on sell then it will show you all of the openings that you have so if you want to sell any of the tokens then you need to select that token and after that you just have to provide the command as you want to sell it 100% or 50% and then it will accordingly take the output and sell your tokens if you click on the option of positions then again it will show you all of your opening positions so you can manage your positions by clicking on this positions option limit orders is also similar i have told you before then that you can purchase any of the coins at any specific price now i have also talked about dca orders here you will be able to see this interesting option which says copy trade so if you click on the copy trade option then you will be able to see uh, this type of page in front of you here you will have to click on the new button and now you will have to provide the target wallet so if you have any of the target wallets the trades that you want to copy then you just have to click on target wallet and after that you just have to provide that wallet address then it will add it into the target wallet section now over here you can select the buy percentage and you can even and you can even trade their cells so after filling these details you will be able to use the copy trading feature of trojan board as well if you want to know more about copy trading on trojan then i have also created a video on this topic so you can view that video on my channel or i will put the link of that down in the description box as well now if we come back to the home page or if i click on this menu button and click on the start button then we have this lp sniper option but as you can see that the zone is written over here it simply means that this option is not currently available you just have to wait for some time until it is available now we have most likely viewed all of the options that are available on trojan here you will be able to see some of the wallets as well so for any reason if you are facing any of the problems in making the transaction on the trojan board uh, if it is low then what you can do is you can simply click on any of the boards here as well and it will launch again and again you will have to click on the start button then you will be shown the, the same then you will be shown the same type of wallet in front of you and in the separate boat you can make the transactions very fast so i hope the video was helpful and if it was then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to use the link that i have given you in the description it would be really helpful for the channel uh, thank you so much for watching